Good morning everyone, thought I'd pop on and do a video. Haven't done one for a little while. Um, again, been busy and just walk in the same sort of places, so I uh, haven't bothered. This will only be quite a short video, so I've got low battery today. Um, and I rushed out the door to drop the children to school, so didn't have time to charge the phone very much. So it's the, um, goodness only knows what the date is. I think it's Friday the 9th of June. And I'm going to walk to Berry Head again. I'm walking a different way this time, I'm going on the actual coast path. So I've parked um, in Brixham along from the rugby club and coming down the coast path now. It's extremely overgrown, especially at the top up there. Great big nettles, um, taller than me, leaning out across the path. So it's very overgrown down here. But uh, so I'm just literally going to pop on and do little tiny snippets because battery is very low. a nice view, St Mary's Beach from at the top here. Like quite choppy the sea still, quite a swell on them. It's obviously shark come across there. Quite high tide. And um, so we're going to go through the little kissing gate and round the lands. If you don't know what a kissing gate is, this is one. So two of you go through, one goes the other side, one goes this side. And you have a kiss, I guess. Another lovely sunny day. Um, gives it coming pretty hot, I think, today. Although also possibly thunder, thundery showers, maybe. Uh, it's quite warm already, and it's only like half past eight. But I should be back, back home before uh, it gets too hot. Hopefully, if I walk fast. Overgrown up here as well. You know, this used to be like a sort of almost like a field you walk through. Um, yeah, there's the ferns and the grasses, taller than me. We get a little picture of the cute style. No that took it then. Always very slippery these steps to come over. And there's a shortcut back to the other way, back to the car, but we'll go um, oh, trying to get the bird. Well, um, I imagine it's extremely overgrown up there. We'll carry on round out on the coast path, actually out to Berry Head. So pretty out here. That's nice, isn't it? What that is. Oh, it's like a white version of that one, isn't it? lookout point here. You know my theory of um, heights, I won't be going too near that edge, that's for sure. That's the Holiday Park landscape there that you can see, so sometimes I come the other side of that um, when I walk the other way. We'll probably see that from the other side on the way back. Yeah, very picturesque. For, um, not that I want to see one particularly, I keep my eyes peeled for adders. You get a lot of adders out here this time of year basking in the sun, um, so I'm just being careful and mindful of where I'm treading really. I'm quite near the edge again here. There's a bit more of Lands Cove, Holiday Park. Be a nice place if you live up country and wanted to come and uh, find somewhere to stay near to Berry Head. Uh, you could walk down to town quite easily from there. And um, obviously if you've got a car in your car, it's easy to drive out to visit other places nearby. Quite a nice holiday park, I think. Okay, so we're entering into the 
fort area now. Let's see if I get a shot over there. It's very choppy down there. There we go. And that whole left side is covered in their beautiful flowers. So yeah, I think we're going to come out. I want to say it's called the South Fort, but uh, I just think I'd know my bricks and um, berry head history, but I'm pretty sure it's the South Fort we come out on. I know where I'm coming out, I'm just not quite sure what it's called. Um, there were three forts out here, I believe, originally. The far end would be in the North Port. Uh, more North Fort? North Port? North Fort, I think. Um, and then there was a smaller one off to the side, the other side. Anyways, I shouldn't really talk about facts unless I actually know my facts, should I? Just be quiet, Michelle. That's, that's what we need to do and enjoy the scenery. So really, we're almost at Berry Head now. So I'm going to pop off again because of the battery, but see how it goes. So many beautiful flowers out here. It's lovely. The gorse has kind of gone over now. I do love the gorse, but it's uh, kind of finished now, it looks like. So right in the distance, you can see Sharkham, which is where we were sort of opposite when we were at St. Mary's Bay. And there's the Lambs Cove. So the fort's the other side of there. Obviously this was the moat down here originally. Down there. Um, I just had a quick peek at the distance we've done and we've done just short of a mile just in case the uh, battery packs up and it cuts my app off. Um, it was way day yesterday, it didn't weigh yesterday. Um, it's been a bit of a funny couple of weeks really. I seem to have had a lot of, well, we've had two birthdays been a lot of cake um, and I've seen to eaten a lot of bread which I, isn't great I've been having like muffins for breakfast or toast bread at lunch which is okay if I've got the nimble bread but I haven't actually got any in at the minute so it's um, not the best I've been having too much bread so I kind of figured I'm not going to have lost anything this week because when I'm trying I don't lose anything so I thought up the walking a bit again and um Oh, we've got to get through this gate. And, uh, try again next week, maybe I need to, trouble is, it's easy just to get, when you come down in the morning and you, you've got to be ready for work quickly, just to get a bit of bread out of the bread and put it in the toaster. It's not more of a fast to make porridge or go in the cupboard and look for crackers. And I think maybe I need to be forward thinking and have these things ready on the side, especially when I'm working and I want to get some lunch. I'm going to do it quickly while the little ones are, sat still for a minute and I've got all the crackers out and all that kind of stuff they're up and off again so yeah I obviously can't butter crackers you can cream crackers but the rice crackers which are low in calories you can't they just go soggy if you butter them in the morning um I need to make sure I get some more nimble bread at least for when I'm working because at least then I can have that it definitely makes you more sluggish bread um I can definitely notice a difference and I've eaten far too much cake. My birthday, my daughter's birthday, and yesterday I went to Exeter to meet a friend for a belated birthday. And we had cake and lunch and ice cream, which is great. I know I can't be strict about it all the time. However, I can't then moan if I don't lose weight if I'm going to eat stuff like that. There we go, so that's the way into that fort put that new bridge there a few years back now that's the way we've just come through there so we've kind of just gone around the outside of it it's quite a nice one to look around it's got all broken down buildings and stuff like the original buildings but um, I'm gonna go in there today and I'm not gonna go out the end because it's quite windy I don't like the end we're gonna go through the woods and come out it's windy here through the woods and come out by the old uh, thing, whatever it is, that sends signals up to aircrafts. My sister and I always called it the UFO thing when we were little, thinking it was something to do with, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what we thought, to be honest, but um, that's the way we're going to go today. And um, I don't think I, or, or other thing I don't think I mentioned was um, just to be mindful when you're out in long grass of ticks in the summer. Um, ticks are a little bug, if you don't know, that bury into your skin to suck your blood and they can be cause Lyme's disease, which is extremely serious. Um, you have to stop them, ticks will They don't hurt when they're in there, you don't know that they're in there, 
I've been out for a walk before and discovered one in the back of my leg, um, which I didn't know was there. There's lots of different things people say. You've got to be very careful if you pull them out that you don't take their head out. Oh, leave the head in, sorry. Take the body out, leave the head in, because obviously then that's still, the poison's still in there. Uh, you can get special tick tools for animals. I presume you can use them for humans as well. I, I Googled it, of course, and Google said, smother it in Vaseline to suffocate it, and then use tweezers to take it out, but in a kind of rotating movement. Um, and luckily for me, the whole thing came out because we could see it was complete and still alive when uh, we got it out. But yeah, they're not they're not nice, and uh, they're, they're just. I say I haven't really looked, walked through any long grass today, so we should be all right. I think it's kind of if you just sort of sit down in it or do walk through it. Right, do a little shortcut through this little lane to get to where we need to be. So there's the main fort out there, which takes you to the end, and the lighthouse, and the guardhouse cafe. Which there you can see Torquay. And then we actually came up this way when I did the walk before, and I walked up from down by Shoalstone Pool. We come up this way. But we're going to turn off before we get to the end of here, along the little wooded bit that leads us to the aeroplane thing. I'll see if it's got a sign when we get there. Okay, we're in the wooded bit now. Woods which always make my eyes go funny, don't they? My eyes make them go blurry. It's just a little short walk through here. Let's have a look at the shade, it's getting warm already. I think we must only be on about nine o'clock, maybe something like that. Um, I'm glad to get home and do some crochet. I've got some, um, oh, I could show you them later actually. I've got some rainbow nesting bowls that I'm doing. I've done them before, and for some reason this time, I'm having a light problem with them. I think because I tried to adapt the um, pattern, there's a den in there, I tried to adapt the pattern, and um, it didn't really work. But hopefully, I'll get there in the end. Why that tree's painted blue? Not sure what that's all about. I think you can go through here, which takes you into the big field in the middle. Never actually been down through that way. I'd like to try that one day. Okay, so you should just be able to make out the aircraft signal tower. Well, that's what I'm calling it. Uh, yeah, there we go. see a little sign anywhere about it. It's a strange old structure. It definitely sends signals up to planes, I know, because I've been on a plane coming back before and it has said on the plane we're now going over Berry Head in Brixham. And I know obviously they know where they are. I know they know where they are anyway. But um definitely sends up something. A light beam signal? I don't know. Can't see any sign anywhere about it. No. Right, do we chance going through this long grass? Let's have a look. Get rabbits down here sometimes. Rabbit, I'm a rabbit, I don't want a tick. Let's take a chance and go down through this little bit, shall we? It's a bit peaceful here. Not seen many people, just a few dog walkers. Yeah, that's where we've come out. So right in the distance up the top is the fort that we walked around at the beginning. The other fort's out that way. That's the big field in the middle, and uh, we're just coming down the coming down the end. I think I'll probably uh, end the video here now, unless I do see anything of real interest, such as a I don't know, I don't know, whatever people find of interest, an animal or um, snake, maybe I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to sign off now, and hope you enjoy the rest of your Friday. I'm actually off to. Newton Abbott at the end of the day today for my daughter's singing lesson so I'll be around decoy I might do a video at decoy but I've done them there before so probably won't tonight um yeah enjoy the rest of your Friday thanks for watching if uh, you ever fancied subscribing you'd get notifications it's free you get notifications of when I put a new video on um, and then you can choose whether you want to watch it or not. I think there's a little subscribe button or a little bell as well to click, which one gives you notifications. Um, or pop a comment on any of the videos and let me know if there's any way you particularly fancy seeing or, uh, you know, anything like that really. Or if there's any questions about the crochet videos, 
and see what you think. Oh, this is a new gateway here. Let me see how I'm going to end the video. And there's a new gateway here. There must be cows in this middle bit, I would imagine. Uh, right, let's speak down here then. It's new since I was last one on this side. Look at that field, like absolutely beautiful. It's a lovely gate to use that one. Oh, she says, as I can't shut it. Oh, yeah, it's shut. We're done. Yeah, and then we are back to the car park. Not that I'm parked there. I've got to now walk her back, but I'm not going via the coast path. I'm going to go uh, the other little lane bit that we've been on before. Okay, and thanks again. Enjoy your day.